Hey y'all, it's Larimer22, and tonight, uh, this is kind of a dedication to uh, Paul, and uh, beer that I'm going to be drinking tonight is uh, Driveway Gnome. This is actually not the beer that I made, it's actually one that SJ made, and uh, but it's part of Paul, so I'm going to go ahead and drink it. So, uh, he left us too soon. And I just want to be here to say thanks, Paul, for all you've done to for the community. Uh, you're a great person. I'm glad I got to meet you. And uh, tonight, uh, the video that's uh, that's coming on is uh, pretty much all the times that I spent with you. Uh, I was lucky enough to actually spend time with you. And uh, that's about it. I, there's not much more I can say. Sorry that you're gone too, so soon. Cheers. I have a funny one for you though. You'll see in the video. Funyuns. I'm out. Enjoy the video. Peace. Peace, Paul. Larry with 22, and we are doing a collaboration Dude, brew at SJ Poor's house. So, Did you spray it? we are. Right, this is my brew I mean, here. We have, Joe, we have some, we have Joe is in spray. charge of my brew. Yeah, that helps this is the collaboration. This is why we're missing our numbers right here. <laughs> oh, it does? And then, there's Gary, main brew guy. What's up? So, uh, he is, no, they're not getting he's actually getting half of this batch. This is SJ Poor's yep. batch here. Well, His sure. collab. We actually doing the same brew. We're trying, we're having competition between I'm efficiencies. I'm going to split some of mine with, with, uh, of mine with Joe. And there's SJ. That was good. Wow. <laughs> and there goes Rick, Rick Humbrew 62. There he goes. He's walking away. So good. <laughs> and here's Paul Wicksteed, all the way from New Zealand. And, we went, oh, hold on. We went to dogfish yesterday. And I got a whole bunch of pictures to post later. And uh, this is it. We're doing a black, New Zealand black IPA. So. Yes. Too bad so. we didn't invent smell of vision smell of vision uh, Woo! So the competition is on between these three guys <laughs> and these two guys. <laughs> You got it. <laughs> so we are out of here. I'm gonna split some of mine. Say up it. The, Cheers. The oh, Seventeen. Like whatever. whatever. <laughs> I mean, you can buy cane sugar. You haven't tasted it. Did you taste it yet? I have tasted it. It's. <clears throat> I'm gonna. It's, I'm gonna I, I like it. I'm gonna read you the. Uh, and the aroma thing off the the, mm. the guideline. This fucking. It hits every one of them. Yeah. This fucking beer, it does. I am, I am shit. absolutely <laughs> floored by this beer. Yeah, complex with so moderate broke. to significant spiciness, which is there. Mm -hmm. Moderate fruity esters, low alcohol, hop aromas, generous spicy, peppery, sometimes clove-like. Um, esters are often uh, citrus fruits, oranges, maybe sometimes slight banana character, which I, I pick a banana. Yep. Low yet distinctive spice, floral, sometimes perfumey, hoppy character is usually found. Alcohol, soft spice, low intensity, no hot alcohol, no. or solventy. No. Fuck it, Dawn wants a job. Like, Dawn's got a job as a marketer for beer. Okay? Mm -hmm. You keep on doing what you're doing, just fucking brew it on the side and let Dawn market it and push it out because. Tasted a couple of beers from you now, and they've all been exceptionally polished. Okay, extremely well fucking polished beers, and if I, I know a couple of people in New Zealand that would drink that, and they would come here to have your baby. Yeah. Okay. This beer is one of my top. You know what's nice about this one? Belgians usually don't have a citrus heavy. Yeah. They're this, more of a, got a. This has got a nice fucking citrus heavy back into bite to it. That it's, it's no more hops. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so Fuck! I love the nose on this. I have such a potty mouth. My mom, my wife told me that yesterday. Look at that. There was no pop and no hiss and no smoke. <laughs> you want to finish that? 
Haha, <laughs> I'll have to crop you out of this photo. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Who said that? Dan. Dan Philia Hiva. Philia Hiva. Hiva. Heck, heck, heck of a. Did you get that on tape? Yeah. Philia Heck of a Weaver. Philia Shit. Heck of a Brewer. Philia Heck of a Brewer. I cannot wait to taste those beers. Beer. If I get to, I'll be happy. This smells extraordinary. Now, this, I think this is actually two or three years old. No. Yep. Oh, wait, there's more. Right. <laughs> Quick, Mom. You guys are all got more. Cool. Give the right. You. No. Oh, Travis is alive. Watch my video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Looks like you guys had a good time at Esther's house. Cheers. Going back to bed. Still drunk. <laughs> Still drunk. I'm not doubting that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might have got a little drink. I told him that. I said, well, at least he texted me. I know he's alive. Oh, my God. <laughs> this beer smells like a million bucks. Or a barrel full of bourbon. It smells not good. Love it. Hold See, on. um, Black Sabbath was, um, Bourbon barrel aged as well. That's a stave. But you don't pull the barrel off it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> no, this one's not bad. You the, the lead pencil. Yeah. And it was one thing I was really proud of. There was no lead pencil on that. Oh my god. He barrel aged it and there was no lead pencil on it. How long did he barrel age it? Uh, four weeks. <laughs> barely <laughs> touched. <why>. Barely <laughs> touched. What did you do for the bourbon in this? Put yeah. ten ounces of a Maker's Mark in it. Yeah. Mm. And then I had three vanilla beans in secondary for a month. I shortened up. I shortened up my next batch. I actually um, I put four vanilla beans. I probably just put in there for a couple of weeks. <laughs> it has like a really, really, really deep dark molasses. Yeah. It's like awesome. Did you taste it? it? I haven't tasted it yet. Just yeah. smelling it. I'm because that's excited. what you just said is exactly what I just tasted. This is what we were banging all night last night. Was fucking bourbon barrel age. Yeah. Yeah. Like bourbon barrel age. Sorry. Get over fucking bourbon barrel age and fucking. Put the barrel aging in and, and make it create the flavors and mellow it out. Chucking that bourbon in there is just hiding what the beer's meant to be. Because all you can smell is bourbon, bourbon note that comes on yeah. the top. And that's cool. You know, people like it, but it's like there's a beer below that. Well, what I did was uh, I had I did this brew and it I didn't hit my gravities. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna mess with this a little bit. So I made, I did the vanilla porter and then uh, I did, I split it up because I didn't hit hit all my marks. So I split it up and I experimented. I did a vanilla porter, I did the vanilla rum porter, and then I did the vanilla bourbon porter. That was and the Kraken. That was the Kraken. Yeah. <laughs> what, that was oh, so great, that video when you were tasting the different, it, yeah, this one's okay. I was like, Ooh, do the Kraken, that's the only the thing my brother-in-law can survive his mother-in-law Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this, this has got some really, really fucking good flavors in it. Big but, time. The, but the nose changes it too much. Yeah, the flavor does not match the nose. That strong ester that comes out from that bourbon just right. makes it go, oh, it's going to be sharp, and you're, you perceive it as sharp. But if you, if you don't smell it, if you put your nose like that, Don't drown. You can pull all those flavors out of it. The trick is not letting your nose trick you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I like, I like the uh, the bourbon flavor note, uh, the nose on it. I, I really do. And that's one of the, my best. All the bourbon stuff that I do drink. I like it because I I like the flavor or the the aroma of I'm the bourbon. bourbon. I like it. I like that's the big. But you know, that's your me initial. Kind of got like at the beer fest. You get kind of spoiled because I mean that's what everyone's promoting now. Yeah, so well, it's, 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 it's been for a year at least. What I don't like, especially at these beer fests like this, is they're giving you an ounce, 
and they're overpowering every single thing they can because they're like, I'm only going to give you an ounce of this, and I got to leave you with an impression. That that's what I don't like about that. What I like about this, um, I smell it and I'm like, okay, I get that really dark molasses. I get that. I get the hint of bourbon. Then when I taste it, I'm like, okay, I get the vanilla, and then I get licorice right at the end. Like, mm -hmm. right at the end, I get licorice, and I'm like, okay, the only way you get licorice is aged. And I'm like, this is a really solid age. It's not oxidized. It's not, um, it's just, it's, it, 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 like, it, I mean, to look at it, I'd be like, I would expect a beer like this not to have any any head retention i would yep. go yeah i'm not expecting any carbonation i'm just expecting just all those qualities to shine through not right like all the other stuff i'm like i just want i want to taste the beer that's all i want to taste i know it's aged i know it's this um it's really good and the smell i'm picking up certain things but when i taste it i'm picking up like 15 times the amount of right, things right. I don't get, that I smell. I don't get the huge bourbon on the nose. I get more of that molasses, dark, the real dark fruits, the wood. I, I, I get, get a it. linen. I only get it right out again. Get some fresh linen. linen. No, well, no, linen. 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 As in, yeah, fresh, 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 fresh linen. done sheets. Yeah, I see that. Oop. Also wear it. Can pull that off. <laughs> Man. I only get it right the at dark. the beginning. And but, I like that though, because what it shows is it's, like when I've done vanilla bourbon porters, when you do it, it's like, bam, it's all bourbon. When it's fresh, right. And then it starts to go bourbon, and then you're like, I think there's vanilla in there. And then it starts to change, and then it's like, hey, there's yeah. less of that, and then there's, the, then there's this. So like when I'm smelling this, I get a little bit of the bourbon. I don't get any vanilla, which is okay, which I don't really, I don't really like to <laughs> smell vanilla. I like to taste vanilla. And then, and then as I get going, I'm like, okay, deep, dark molasses. I'm like, this this is aged. That's what I like. I'm getting, like, you know when they say you get those, the, the, the leather out of it, leather nose? I'm getting that a little bit in here, too. This, it's a fantastic beer. This oh, is it, complex. There's so much going on in there. got a hell of a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. That's why, I mean, I only make it, well, I made it. Two years ago, I make it once a year. Two years ago, and I still have bottles left. And then I made the one that didn't, my gravity was sucked. So then I got to experiment with it. Yeah, and not? and those were actually easy drinkers. They were like maybe 7% beers and they were easy drinker. Vanilla Porter came out really nice. I think Vanilla Porter was actually my favorite, but uh, the rum, it just tasted different. Yeah. As Larry said, I'm, you know, like, you hit the beer festival and it's like bourbon barrel age, bourbon yeah. barrel age, bourbon barrel age. Huge hops. And you never ever get the chance to sit there and appreciate the beer. You're drinking it and it's like, it's gone. By the time you get next. to the next one, you're tasting the same thing. You haven't had a chance to to, to analyze what you're smelling in that. In that. That's why this is cool. That's yeah. why I'm, this, I'm, is, I'm, 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 this is the best beer tasting thing I've ever done. This is the, beer set, the best beer session of GABF right here. Okay, Rick, what do you think? Very good. <laughs> oh, bang. That's a five star right there. That's yep. a five star right there. And Rick's yeah, is it? Very good. Oh, I just I've had this before though. That's, that's true. true. That's I true. get straight up molasses. Um, that's just cool. The molasses on the nose, huge, and in the taste. We still have the bottle you gave me in March. We haven't had it yet. Uh, Travis has got one too. So I gave him a bottle. He, since right, he came. Travis, in, um, so, um, <laughs> it's too bad you couldn't come out on Friday right. and had yeah. to work. Yeah. I have no, something I, I I'm commend, willing to share. I, 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 commend, uh, I commend him and his... In the <laughs>
I saw the waiter come over. Like, Was that the waiter? Yeah, I think so. Something. I don't know what the hell it is. And 
This is, is the. Uh, it's gonna be my last shot. shot. It's gonna be my last shot, dude. Some country and go fuck yourself. Oh, that's what. That's what we need. We need. You did a good job in uh, in saying what she said that the shot was called. You did provide a good summary. That was great. She she said. It's like, it's a two-shot, blah, 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 well, yeah, go was. fuck yourself, blah, blah, yeah, blah. It was, a, it was an Italian two-shot, go fuck yourself, with yeah. 19 different alcohols in it. Thank you. 17. I, 17, 17 it. Sorry, 17 different alcohols in it. How the hell can you do that? I, I don't know. Is an amazing, it, that is yeah. a fucking amazing thing to have on tap. It's not on tap. It's actually not a beer. It's just a whole lot of spirits. Yeah, it's, it's just a whole bunch of shots. You cannot read it. So, so this is the place. We're walking okay, around. That's not a shot. I never said it was a shot. I thought it was a shot. 17 different alcohol. Oh. Hey, my mom, you thought it was a shot. So, <laughs> it costs about the same as a shot, though, right? <laughs> so, I have yeah, a, I have I have a nice fruity drink. Here we go. Take a photo. Someone take a photo. Oh, I can. Oh, oh. hang on. Get it lit up. Oh, oh shit. How do I do that? Oh, fuck. Um. I'm not sure if this is going to happen.